My name is David Phillips. I'm an associate professor of practice here in the welding engineering program. Over the years, I worked for a variety of companies that um, some of them did quite a bit of work with Ohio State. I would come up here to visit and I would walk around the campus and I would just feel the energy and I, I just always knew if I ever had an opportunity to come back here in particular to teach, it would be like a dream come true. What I really liked about welding engineering is that you have to take a whole variety of courses to be a welding engineer. You have to take engineering mechanics, you have to take metallurgy classes and material science classes. You have to take electrical engineering classes. You have to know about all the welding processes from lasers to electron beams, lots of things that are um, very different when, from what people think when they think of welding. They think of arc welding. You have to know design. You have to know non-destructive testing techniques like x-rays and ultrasonic inspections. One of the other really neat things about graduating with a welding engineering degree is you have a wide range of possible career paths and and by that I mean not only the types of companies and the types of industries that you work for but the types of specific job functions so for example I have several friends that work in the medical field and so they're working with um, things like pacemakers that go inside the body and these are made out of exotic materials like stainless steels and titaniums um, ranging so ranging from working in the medical field I spent five or six years of my life working with jet engines in Cincinnati and again exotic high temperature metals, nickel based what we call aluminides and all kinds of fancy metals like metal matrix composites. Uh, two, uh, a lot of people like the excitement of a high production industry such as automotive where things are happening fast and uh, there's lots of action. And so production type jobs are very common for welding engineers. A lot of our students end up in nuclear fields working with nuclear pressure vessels and uh, petrochemical working in the oil and uh, gas pipeline industry. So all kinds of industry sectors, all types of job functions are out there for you as a welding engineer. Ohio State is the only ABET accredited welding engineering program in the country. When I think of Ohio State, I think of energy and, and passion and I think of a big family.